Welcome again to the African Presidential or is a Greatness and Greatness. This is a comedic production. And basically, in this production, we are basically looking at what we call the best female solo travelers for what we say is 2023. Basically, we, we, we have our candidates, um, four interesting females. We have Itchy Boots, who is a European female traveler. She travels the world and now she's currently in Africa. She did a very interesting vlog in Benin. And this vlog we put in at number four. Then on the list we have African Tigress, another traveler. Um, currently she's in the Caribbean and um, her entry was her travel in the island of Trinidad and Tobago. And then we have number three, Miss Trudy, who's also the wife of Rudy Maya, another solo traveler. Her entry is from Barbados and we have her coming at number two. Then, sitting at number one, we have Dimoanga. She's originally from Kenya, but she's currently on a very successful tour in Jamaica, where she's also doing some collaboration with Kino Life in Jamaica. And her vlog in Jamaica, when she went to um, the river, a particular river somewhere, in, I think in Clarendon, we have that vlog coming in at number one. Here. Congratulations to for another great but piece of artwork. I'm not entirely sure Enjoy. See you soon. Thanks for watching. So we went to a place where they normally serve food, but they're not serving anything today. So I don't really have another option to get this one option. We're going to these mangoes and then I got some cookies, biscuits, <laughs> two packets of biscuits and then some peanuts. So this will have to last me for lunch and dinner, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let me quickly show you my room. So I'm now on the second level. This is where I'm staying tonight. See, so I have my bed here and then, well, there's my running water. So they put uh, buckets here so I can have a bucket shower. I have found a guide who's going to show me some of the houses. I think his name is Mpozo. Mpozo, I think. Let's do this. go downstairs. My name is Mpozo. Mpozo is the name. Traditional name. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's like... The scarification? This leaf? Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 
With the British yeah. against the Americans, but okay. they will run away slaves from America. Okay. So in my little space here, uh -huh. we have 
Oh, oh well, it's a museum. You have a little museum in, in your house. house. In my house. Well, Until yeah. we have the land next door to the shop that way where, where you had the um soup. Yeah. So it's just funding to mm -hmm. build to get to get a building and get all of this and more. Oh there. to move it there. To move it. Oh, so, so it will have a larger crowd uh -huh. and everybody will have to come into my home to see the museum, to see the museum so and the artifacts. So made this collection? This collection is personal. Oh, it's personal? Personal collection um, from grandfather and my parents mm -hmm. and my, myself with some friends that had artifacts mm -hmm. and decided to uh -huh. give me it for the museum. All so right. we're starting from the corner there. Yeah. And we have a tradition, well I grew up with that tradition, you must always have a cookie broom in your house, turn up. Oh. So that is to ward away the, the little spells and whatever as the case may be. Oh. Alright? And we have, well this is two walking sticks, Pui. Mm -hmm. They could use also for stick fighting and if you are here in Trinidad for carnival, yeah. you'll see how they operate the Pui sticks oh, for right. stick fighting. So long ago we used the, the this was our washing machine. Oh. Better wow. known as a scrubbing board. Mm -hmm. Right, so the soap, the block of soap will go here, and the, the end of the tub will go into the tub with the okay. water and the clothes, and you ah. and you wash your clothes with both hands. Okay. So your knuckles, long ago, used to be very tough. Very tough. <laughs> um, we have here what we call the mortar and pestle, where you pong rice, your pong bene. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the goblets. We have, oh, and in the mortar and pestle, we do bene. In a while, I have some popped already. And that bene, um, the, we call it now sesame seeds. Some call it sesame seeds, oh, but yeah. it's more bene. Right. That is pumped with garlic and with peppers, pepper sauce. And what we call bandana or shag bene. Pump it together. Sprinkle it on your, your um, rice, and you have that to go. So we have the goblets. And the goblets is what we store water. They used to store water in long ago to drink. Okay. So we come back into the mini fridge. Mm -hmm. So the water used to be cool. This is part of the original, my home. Okay. That I decided to keep because don't see pattern glass oh, let's go anymore. Yeah. I don't see this anymore, so I decided to keep this from the house itself. And when the ancestors or ancestors traveled, they traveled with grip. They had no suitcases, so they call it a grip. And then all the worldly possession used to be in this grip. All right? Well, you know, we have Must, 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 must. That's right. So just a little, uh, here we have a little history about all the ancestors. I'll find it a little. No shows. It looks like an East African woman. Um, this is from this. This has to be Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, that may be a shell which is from Mali or Samburu. Mare. Yeah. She's a beautiful. So this is our this little poster here. It's an American soldier. Ah. That was his uniform, the uniform of the British. Okay. That he fought. And then we have the American family. Oh, okay. The soldier, his wife and child. Okay. Right. So we have it in black and white and we have it in colored also. Oh, yeah. And this is well, you know, in Metakila, um, this was part of our rice, hill rice story. Uh -huh. um, Francis Morian from Morian did that. I believe you might meet him somewhere along the line while you're in Trinidad here, you'll meet him. Okay. He's a herbalist also, a medicine man. So you'll get to meet him. And this whole thing, we had an article some years ago in the New York Times um, about, well, this is some of the- The um, Maroon Legacy. Yes, Maroon Legacy plus the hill rice. Ah. The Americans planting the hill rice. Okay. All right. Um, and this corner, I dedicated to Papa Nisa. Uh -huh. So he has his Bible, which is over a hundred years old. Oh wow! Yeah, this Bible is heavy, heavy, heavy. and it's old. All okay. right. And his picture, his photo, um, his medicine. We have a snake, but we call him the snake bottle. It has snake, scorpion, and centipede. I'll bring it out in the light for you. Oh, are they alive? No, they are dead. It's over 100 years old. Wait, are you not scared of snakes? From the people to the weather. Have a day, let's go. So today we've come to the Harrison Caves. This is an eco adventure park. And I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. We have a lot to learn, so yeah, let's go. Hey, my name is Daya, and I'm your hostess today. So you guys can follow me. So this is our lobby. If you look up, you can see that Chaka is located in different parts of the Caribbean. So we have the Dominican Republic, Belize, Jamaica, Turks and Caicos, and you can find us there in the place of the how much is it to show you that to come here? Um, for the kids, it is going to be $50,000 US dollars for one person to get on the gate. What about this? From if I'm tasting a lawn, it is for one person. Uh, 
Barbados is the home of rum. Is that true? I can't believe the mark not take a swim. The mark not, not even one swim. But general, you never get a dive in, 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 you So if you don't feel like going on, guys, what should you do? Feel like I was on the river? Yeah. I'll sit up the bed. I'll sit up the bed. 